This is January 19th, 2020, and this is Shannon Wong. This is a case of a mycol-induced cataract that disappears within one day. This week we were implanting an ICL, which is also known as a implantable columnar lens manufactured by Star Surgical into an eye with an extreme prescription. Notice how beautifully clear and even the red reflex is through the microscope. It's just spectacular. The lens is crystal clear. The procedure was going smoothly. The pupil was well dilated. We injected the ICL, tucked the haptics of the ICL underneath the iris, then washed out most of the viscoelastic. We then proceeded to inject myocol to constrict the pupil and finish the procedure. Prior to the procedure, I mixed the myocol myself since the scrub tech that was working with me was relatively new. Here we are injecting the myocol into the anterior chamber. Within seconds, the clear red reflex develops an area that is slightly gray between nine o'clock and 12 o'clock. Then, over the next minute, we observe an almost snowflake-like pattern of gray diffusely forming underneath the anterior capsule. My first thought is, that looks like a cataract. But I haven't touched the lens capsule with any of the surgical instruments. It can't be a cataract. It can't be a cataract. Then my second thought is maybe some particulate from the myocol is layered on the anterior lens capsule. So let's try to wash it off the anterior capsule. No joy. So we fine focus the microscope and quickly go through the five stages of grieving, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, then ultimately acceptance. This is a cataract. We have caused a cataract in a perfectly normal lens as a result of our surgery. I have seen tens of thousands of cataracts and this is definitely a cataract. So the case concludes and I have to tell the patient after he leaves the operating room, I don't know how it happened, but you now have a cataract that might need cataract surgery. Would you mind checking your vision from the eye that we just placed the ICL and which has the cataract. How do you see, I ask. He says, I see great. Okay, we'll check you tomorrow. So here is his eye the next day is seen through the slit lamp. The anterior subcapsular cataract that was there at surgery has thankfully disappeared. His lens is 99% back to normal. His vision is great. He's happy. His refraction is Plano plus a quarter at 80, yielding 2025 to 2020 vision. This is 16 hours after the surgery. So what happened? How did he get a cataract? My call comes packaged in two components. A vial of 20 milligrams of my call, which is acetylcholine chloride powder, and a two milliliter diluent fluid. What exactly is in the diluent? Well, from the package insert, there's calcium chloride dihydrate, magnesium chloride hexahydrate, potassium chloride, sodium acetate trihydrate, and sterile water. What is in balanced salt solution? Let's just look at the bottle. When I constituted the myocol powder, I used balanced salt solution. I did not use the two milliliter diluent included with the myocol powder. My logic was that the eye is full of balanced salt solution during surgery that we place prior to placing the myocol. So we should be able to mix the BSS with the myocol powder to create the injectable form of myocol to inject into the anterior chamber. The lesson here is that mixing myocol with BSS is not advisable. Always use the two milliliter diluent included in the myocol packaging. Never use BSS. 
The silver lining here is that the cataract that is induced is temporary and resolves in less than one day. Thank God. A quick internet search shows that the tonicity of my call in BSS must be different than the tonicity of my call in the two milliliter diluent. Most likely, the anterior lens capsule is permeable to the myocol solution, and if the myocol is mixed with BSS, there's a reaction, a swelling or shrinkage of the anterior lens fibers, which creates the anterior subcapsular cataract. Fortunately, the story ends happily as the cataract resolved and the patient is seeing great. Thank you for your time and attention, and have a wonderful day.